Welcome to Nintensei, and we're playing Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, this game doesn't need much and much. Uh, this game doesn't need an introduction, but I will anyway. Um, it's the next in the Mario line of main 3D Mario line of games, and it's another. It's return to collectathons, and it's return to more open collectathons, unlike uh, Mario Galaxy, which was or Mario 3D World, which was more or more linear level based. This one is back to the open world style. Um, this game also introduces a new mechanic, which we will see getting into it. Um, this is a game that I adore, and a lot of people do. This is definitely one of the best Switch games, and it came in the Switch's launch year, which is kind of crazy. This game's actually three years old now. Um, but still, let's get right into it, and we'll talk more as we go. Let's hit that big start button. There we go. Not good at starting these things off. In the skies above Peach's Castle. We're getting right into it. Right into it. And Bowser's dressed all fancy smancy and Mario's getting his butt kicked. Mario, get in there and kick Bowser's ass. You can do it. Dodge. You dodged it, so that's good. And look, we're just in a wedding themed airship over Peach's Castle. And here we go. This is the end. For you, knocked his hat off. You're powerless without your hat, Mario. Be a little, oh, be a little more observant. I love that stop. It's just like Demon Souls. And we already can see Peach's got a weird uh, tiara with eyes on her head. Oh, it's supposed to be symbolic. Bowser's outfit is so good. Time for my wedding with Peach. Jealous Mario, I'm getting married to her for a second time. Because there's already we already did this plot in um, Super Paper Mario. Just in that, it's that wasn't Bowser instigating that. Oh, Mario's hat just got torn up. And this little ghost caught it. That's a nice shot of the moon just out in the boot there. Wonder if they did that for any kind of reason. Oh, you Bowser beat you up so bad, Mario, that you ended in a nineteen like twenties Disneyland. Ooh, look around, showing the Joy-Con that I'm not using. Stop poking me, bitch! I'm trying to sleep. trying to sleep ah and look he goes there he is you're scaring the ghost Mario you're scaring the ghost let's catch him and the oh, right off the bat this game feels really good to control and I feel that's why they gave these hills so you can just yeah just like Super Mario 64 just without the um, just without the random acts of violence who who are you you're not one of them, are you? Oh, the, look at him. Let's catch him. He's hiding from us. Even though he's a, he was on the opposite side before. Why does he look so much more unique than the others? So sorry for running away like that. You startled me. And I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. Yeah, Bowser actually beat me for once. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to take to make matters worse, the fiend has kidnapped my little sister. Man, he's just kidnapping children now. That's not how you make. That's how you get children. Bow, make children, Bowser. I'd hope to give chase to that Bowser monster in a ship of my own. I know he's not actually saying Bowser, but I think it's what makes things dumber. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. I don't like being in 1920s Disneyland. Although, now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could guess there if only I could reach the top of, the, uh, top of Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the Bowser Monster's henchmen. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can't help. Uh, we can't help those uh, Tiara Peach too. 
Oh, I need my hat. A good thing this ghost is a hat. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love that. Not your style? How about this? It's gonna fuse with the my hat and yeah. The cap is back. Toss it for good measure. New one of the one of the best new attacks about the game. Camp Cappy is now your companion. There we go. Try throwing me with Y. I did. It's one of the best new mechanics in the game. Um, it adds a lot to uh, possibilities to platforming. And what I mean by that is... Oh, I can't. Let me see. Oh. There we go. Like, it just adds a lot to like uh, possibilities. It's very cool. You can t stop telling me how to do it, video game. I'm do I've been doing it this whole time. And I'm not going to dick around too much here, but I will a little bit to get some coins. So the way I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be going world uh, kingdom by kingdom. Uh, this one doesn't count, uh, since to actually play this as a proper kingdom, you have to come back. And it's pretty small. Like coming back doesn't really expand it much. Like you can go to the, um, you can see that there are some platforms in the mist there, and that's pretty much it. So this world, this map is, uh, this world's the, or this kingdom, sorry, is the definitely the least advanced and least uh, developed. But it's got cool visual style, and it's visually nice looking. Like, uh, it's nice looking, like, texture-wise and everything, too. But that's just Mario Odyssey. Oh, come on, fall down. As far as, um, collectathons go, this one takes more after, um... This one takes more after games like Banjo Tooie and um, Banjo Tooie and uh, Donkey Kong 64 over Banjo Kazooie or Mario 64, um, which a lot of people would be disappointed to hear because uh, Donkey Kong 64 is not very well received. Um, and what I'm what I mean by that though is there's a lot of collectibles in this game. Um, it's almost old rare levels, like it's pretty crazy. But I've never been bothered by that. Donkey Kong 64, I always viewed the all the collectibles as just more to do. Uh, one of my biggest, uh, gri uh, not gripes, I guess, but one of my biggest, like, uh, uh, things I don't like about Banjo-Kazooie is that's over too soon. But that's also just because I know too much about it. Welcome to Bonneton, Pride of the Cap Kingdom. Do you know about the action guide? I know already. I don't want to hear this. Be careful out there. The action guide just shows you, like, how to do moves if you don't know how. Um, you're talking to someone who 100 percent this game. I didn't get all. I didn't get the max amount of moons because that just takes too much grinding. Um, since there are a, how many? There are there are 800 and something moons in this game, um, which may sound like a lot to people not familiar with the game. Uh, but to those who aren't, you'll see why there's that many. In a, whenever I get to the first world proper. Um, which is not even the next one. The next one's not even the first proper um, kingdom. Which I'm gonna stop dicking around now. Let's go. I'll be requesting. I'll be recording this kingdom by kingdom. So some episodes might be shorter than others. Some sessions will be shorter than others because some kingdoms are much smaller. And this is kind of like uh, this. This follows the Banjo Kazooie and um, like Ban Banjo Tooie kind of thing where. This game can be really long. Uh, if what Otto Lafell has seen to know you and not like you. Um, this this game can be quite long if you plan on doing everything. But if you don't plan on doing anything, everything, it's actually quite short. Um, which is disappointing, but it makes sense. Uh, when, when you beat the game, when you beat the game, it's not over because there's always stuff to collect. Inside Top Hat Tower, looks very not what I expected. Very not what I expected. But we're just going to have to take that as uh, this is a video game and just and just uh, ex accept it. And Mario's hat's really good for getting these. Like, it's really satisfying doing that and that. And there's some froggers there and I don't know how... I can't get up here. Mario maybe jump, but he can't jump that much. Oh, Mario's actually getting wet. They actually shows the, him... Um, that ledge is awfully high. Hmm, I know. Try throwing me at a frog. Here we go. And this... This is something I don't 
really care for. This is the um, this is the main gimmick of this game and this huge like horrific thing right here. Oh god, you're like seeing the frog's life. It's pretty it's pretty weird and messed up. Um but I don't like this mechanic too much. Not because it's a bad mechanic, but it just takes away from the rest of the platforming, I feel. Mostly. It doesn't take away from it too much because... Oh, oh! I'm a frog! You captured a frog. You captured a frog frog, I should have said. Holy crap, this frog jumps high. I knew frogs were known for jumping, but like this? And I can shake the pro controller to jump even higher. Um, but as I was saying, I feel this detracts a little bit from the strengths of the game. Um, I know they need to do something different with every Mario game, but when I think of Mario game, I don't think of Possession. When I think of Ghosts, I think of Possession, but not Mario. And to be fair, Cappy is very ghost-like, so it almost feels like, uh, it almost, uh, it almost feels like, um, it, it was, almost feels like it was a different game. Wait, why can't I get out? Why can't I get out of the frog? Uh... Okay, let's just continue, I guess. Unless I just can't right now, I haven't really tried. Um, but again, it's not. It feels like they were making a different game with Cappy, and you possess things before they start making this, because this isn't the least Mario thing I can think of. It's still fun. Don't get me wrong. There, this it still makes the game fun. I just kind of wish it was just a traditional Mario game. Um, there we go. Yeah, I just couldn't do it back there for some reason. Um, but I guess I shouldn't be too worried. And there we go, big heart just like from Mario Galaxy. Now I've got six hits. I guess I shouldn't be too concerned though, because if the rumors are true and we're getting a um, Mario All-Stars base 2 basically, um, we'll be getting Mario 64 on that. Which, this could be date. This could really date this recording, uh, because that could be announced or debunked by, uh, by the time this goes up. That Bowser monster has ruined everything. Bad days do happen, but you've got to keep a stiff upper brim. Can't you do something to help us? Who could be responsible for this? I'm so scared I can hardly move. That Bowser monster's long-eared henchmen are still on top of Top Hat Tower. I say, do be careful. Coins leading up to the... Like, I really like the look of this tower. Like, it's... You can tell that's like, it's grass or whatever. It's really cool. Oh, come on. They disappear? I got them. Look at these Bowser Monsters henchmen. Look at these things. Hehe, <laughs> the Bowser boss warned me there'd be a fellow with a, with a mustache coming along. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the winning planners for the happy Bowser Peach couple. They call us the Brutal 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 Brutals. We got that tiara treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business in these parts. Of course, roughing up Goody Two Shoes meddlers was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. <laughs> I don't know if these guys have individual names. Maybe I should find out if they do. Uh, uh, uh. And big arrow to say, do what you do best, Mario. Jump on his head. Oof, I almost ran into that. And as you can see, we're in our first boss fight already. It's nothing too simple. Hit him till his hat. You hit, hit him till his hat's gone off, and then you just hit the hats around. Hey, look, he's wearing three hats. How clever! Ugh. Only two hits there. That's the least Nintendo thing ever. Only two hits, not three. That's weird. And he's dead. He just exploded. How can he still be alive? And what's this? Most impressive. Let's use this wire to make our way onward. Oh, and now Mario's a weird big ball of electricity. Let's go. And here we go. Uh, we're on our Odyssey. Let's embark on the greatest Odyssey Mario has ever been on, despite the fact that he was in space. I guess they realized they couldn't top... They couldn't really top space, so they just went with a more... I guess it's still grander in scale, I want to say, because space is... Um, 
Well, space is obviously grand. You're going to planetoids, it's not planets. Here you're traveling the beautiful, beautiful world that's clearly not the Mario world. Because I didn't know Mario has power lines. Power lines going to dinosaur places. Boom! Oh. Here we go. We're in our first power moon in the Cascade Kingdom. This place is gorgeous. This is what's... I'm pretty sure this was one of the first areas we saw for when we knew the game was Mario Odyssey. Woo! Yeah, what a ride! And we made it to the Cascade Kingdom. Sorry, still a bit amped up from capturing a power line. Must collect myself. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. So here's where the game begins more truly. It's still not the full, like, proper thing. You have to, again, just like Cap Kingdom, you have to come back here to get the full experience. But, as you can see, it's pretty damn gorgeous. This whole game in general is gorgeous. And, um, this game makes it silly that people are still not able to make pretty looking games on the Switch. Um, this, this would look good on PS4. Like, if this game is on PS4, I'm still, I, people would still say it looks good. Uh, same with Breath of the Wild. But, because it's Nintendo, people gotta complain. And what is this? Purple coins? I know I got three of them already, but purple coins. And it says there's 50. Oh. And, as you've seen, I'm doing a lot of things. Since it's a game I played before, I'm doing a lot of things um, automatically. I should be vocalizing when I'm doing a bit more, but I'm going so quick that it'll slow me down to like a snail's pace. There's still signs, just like in the old Mario, like Mario Sun 64. Travel tip, homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the pro controller again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly towards the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. Yeah. Um, the, that's, and that introduces you to the thing I dislike the most about this game, and that's the motion controls. Um, I'm not a hater of motion controls any, like, any stretch of the word. But I would like them to fish. Like, I feel like they just get in the way here. Um, especially if you're playing, like, a lot of third-party controllers, for example, don't have uh, motion capabilities. Um, so if you're playing with that for your TV instead of your Joy-Cons or something, you're not able to do it. Uh, which is very annoying. And not something I'll ever run into, but it also just gets really obnoxious going, <laughs> shaking the controller around just to do that, like a basic thing. There we go. Now I'm a chain chomp. What do chain chomps do? Oh, what is that? Ugh. And yeah, just destroy stuff. I'm not going to break that yet because that's what it wants me to. Let's break this. What are that? Coins. Give me that, actually. At least he's a little dizzy from being captured and mind controlled by Mario. Like, you have to admit, this is pretty devious, like, pretty devious for Mario to do. Like, this is, this is evil. This is super villain level stuff that I'm doing. Uh-oh. I missed. And, pow. Like, this Chain Chomp is already tormented just being lying there. And now I used him to get a Power Moon. And yeah, Mario's, uh, Mario's had quite the journey. Mario started collecting the stars. Then you collect the suns in Super Mario uh, Sunshine. Now you're collecting the moons. The moon, the sun, and the stars. Who knew you were so romantic, Mario? Our got our first power moon. And unfortunately, I don't have to date my I don't have to date the Let's Play at all. I forgot the game does it for me. You seen what day I'm playing it on? Jesus. Good thing I don't care about hiding that. Multi moon atop the falls. Oh this. Look at this. That's, that's, that's a waifu right there. Oh, we found a power moon. Oh, uh, damn it. What a lucky break. This will come in handy to power up the airship. Have you seen it? Ever seen, have you ever seen anything like it? Yes, I've seen the stars and I've seen the suns. The moons are not that big of a deal, Cappy. The moon is just a big dumb rock. The stars are, uh, friggin', like the stars are mini suns. The sun is just a big star. The sun kind of like is like one of the most important things in the universe, or in the galaxy at least. What is the moon? A big dumb thing that makes uh, Earth a little makes Earth better. Come on. And 
let's get over here. Do the triple jump that's come back, thankfully. And what is this? That looks like a big piece of shit. Oh, there it is. This is what we were looking for. It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expected. Oh, no, it's just an older model. I'm certain it can still fly. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe globe there. Yeah. Here, have my moon. Oh. Bam. Hey, it's nice it's keeping track. Huh, nothing's happening? That moon power moon must not have given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we can find more around here. I wonder how obnoxious that's going to get. Let's find out. I'm committed. I'm committed. Oh, that was a weird thing that just happened there. So yeah, it's... The fact that there's normal blocks, like normal Mario blocks in a 3D Mario game is really weird to me. Oh, I was close. Jesus, I almost died. Um, the only Mario game that had them like that is... Is uh, that I can remember that actually feel normal is Mario 3D World because that's just a 2D Mario game in 3D. But having them here feels weird, but it doesn't uh, feel like out of place. It just makes it feel like Mario. That's the most important thing, right? The most, uh, and maybe they are in Mario 64. It's been a long time, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have an easy way to play that game, so I don't have an N64. Let's get this, because this is just going to make it easier if I ever did come back here. Which I won't be. This uh, this LP, I'm not going to lie. Um, in a future 100% LP, yeah, this will be a fun one 100% actually. Be really difficult in some spots, or some really tricky moons. And let's kick these about and get the coin. That's cool, the camera getting water splashed on it because we're close to the waterfall. This game's gorgeous. This game's Nintendo at its best. Um, this is Nintendo at its most creative as well. A lot of people don't like this game just for because of the level design. It's very... It's it's a lot flatter than a lot of platforming games, especially a lot of Mario games. And I'm just going completely around what it wants me to do, by the way. And I can get that. I can get why people don't like it because of that, but this is Nintendo at its best. They need. They knew they needed to do something to Mario, like to Mario to make it feel different. I don't feel they need to, but the Nintendo feels like they do. Uh, uh, just, uh, just ask them why we're not getting another um, F Zero, and you'll find out. Look at this. Goodness, look at the size of that thing. Hello, Jurassic Park. Hello. Hello, Jurassic Park. Good thing it's tired. Good thing he's so tired that he doesn't care that Mario jumps on him. At least they did that. They, what is, This guy's so tired that he's not even bothered by Mario ground pounding his spine. Ugh. There you go. Let's attack your butt. Oh, it's not going to work. I have to attack your head. And now I'm the T-Rex. This was one of the first, like, things that ended their, uh, the demonstration of the game, or the trailer of the game. And this has stuck with people for a while, like, it's stuck with people so much that it's an icon you can use for your account on the Switch. Look, look at this, look at this. This is perfection right here. You can't make a better game than this. I really hope they do make a sequel. Um, there's been a lot of talk about a Mario Auto- look at that! Whoa! Giant, big dinosaur just flying a boot, destroying shit. I didn't know I was playing the Hulk. And no, oh, give me those coins, bitch! I can't miss them. I can I make it up there? Oh! Yeah, just crush them. Whoa! Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna get out of all. Oh, he, it's too big. He couldn't hold on. He just died. Look at that. It's Cat Mario from Mario 3D, uh, 3D World. He gives you a coin bonus whenever you find him. Oh, come on. Let's get back to that big dinosaur. 
So this does this doesn't have one thing that the old classic um, classic um, 3D Mario's have like Super Mario Sunshine and 64. I think Galaxy does. It's been a long time since I played it, but which is what I've been saying about everything here. But it's true. Um, I when you get a hundred coins in Mario 64 in a level, you get a star, um, and every level has one, and it actually makes it fun to track down. Uh, every coin. Here, the coins are used for something completely different, so that doesn't exist. I uh, look at that guy, there's a moon just hiding there. Die. Just break you through with my big dumb head. Oh, that's... Well, uh, he's had a tough... He's had a tough day. He murdered a bunch of chain chomps and broke a bunch of shit. Chomped through the rocks. I didn't... I did chomp, I guess. I didn't use a chain chomp, but I chomped. Let's go and hit this. Now I'm at the stone bridge. And here's another example of the motion controls I don't like. Spin throw. When, you th when you're surrounded by enemies and just wished you could hit them all at once, snap the pro controller to the side to do a spin throw. Your hat will spin all around you. Yeah, sure, it's novel and it's useful for specific stuff like that, but I don't feel it should. Again, I don't want to be flailing my control around like an idiot just to do stuff that could be relegated to another command like um how about spin once and do it or something like that basically there's other ways to do those and but just they're like it's like hey look it's cat peach she gives you a heart when you find her and if since i'm full health it just gave me coins um it's just like donkey Kong country returns the motion controls get in the way but unlike donkey Kong country returns i don't think that they almost ruined the game. Donkey Kong Country Returns is great. Uh, motion controls, pretty garbage. It, it hinders any kind of fun I can really have with the game. Which is not 100% true, but it's mostly true. It, like, I'm not gonna... I'm not rushing out to replay Donkey Kong Country Returns. I beat it once. Um, I beat Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze three times, I think. And I beat, um, this. I beat this, like, three times, I think, actually, thinking back on it. Let's destroy this wall. And, yeah. And it's classic Mario back there, and then the Chain Chomp just dies. But before I go there, there's a weird pixelated pipe right there. I wanted to get those coins. Now I'm only missing ten. I think some of them are hidden. Maybe... Oh, coins. There's some... I know there's some, like, dangling along the side, and you have to shimmy off. Don't know if it's in this level. But anyway. Coins and soul don't matter, because you have to come back to use them. Oh, I am... Oh, my. We've gone flat, and rather blocky at that. I love this. This is one of my uh, favorite aspects of this game. These are really fun. Um, but could just be that I've uh, that I like classic Mario but I think they're really really fun additions to the game the only complaints I have about them is the same kind of thing with the capture where it just we makes the identity of the game really weird that's not a bad thing that's actually something I feel more games could be weird this and uh, Final Fantasy 7 uh, remake are just like they're embracing their weird side and that's great if you don't embrace your weird side, kids, you're just going to be a norm another another normal person. And that might be what you want, but nah, be weird. Be you. And Mario Odyssey is very you. Like, it, they, uh, it's very much itself. It doesn't let the other Mario games uh, basically dictate what it is. And that's really, really, that's really cool, and that's really impressive for such an old uh, franchise. There's the thing indicating that there's a boss fight coming, but I do get to see this. Hey, look, there's a moon up there. But look at this. And let's go, let's go see what this thing has to offer. Oh, you, oh, you. This guy can actually hinder you, see? Oh. oh, come on, you didn't go flying that far enough. Eh. 
Yeah. Oh, come on. I used you, your friend, to hit the like hit the wall. And let's see what she has to offer. I said that's a wife if I ever did see one. <laughs> I love the big <laughs> turning around. What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship airship? Why I could never part with any of my precious moon power moons. Sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompikins. This is an extreme. Whenever someone comes up and it's like, oh, you want these? You want my money? Well, I'm just going to feed you to my dogs. And now she's pissed I controlled her dog and she's trying to hold me back. And bam, right in the face. Now she's going to throw her dog at me. And her dog is a hat on, because of course hats are defensive in this game. And just do it again, Say, but she's now attacking me. She's tired though, and boom. The bosses are pretty simple, and this is, I don't believe this is, you fight her again. Oh, I touched her. That's dangerous, touching her. Oh. Now she's angry again. You can tell she's red. Mario's just like, yeah. Pow. Oh, her chain chomp just exploded. I murdered her pet. And now... Boom, she explodes. People just die whenever you defeat them and, like, explode when you defeat them in this game. And it doesn't actually kill anyone. So look at this. This is a triple moon. Let's grab it. This is designed so you can actually beat this uh, kingdom without having to do anything else. Yeah. Multi-moon atop the falls. I did it. As you can see, each level, when you're first here, is mission-based. Like, each uh, world. If you just want to progress the story, it's mission-based. And it always ends in something like that. Yeah. And it always puts you back to a certain place when you're done with the world story. We've done it, and now we've got a moon multi-moon. It's as strong as three moon power moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me in that globe globe. Let's go. I don't know why they have to have the pictures. I think it's really weird, it, and that's why I'm doing the, I'm saying it that way, because it's just really weird to me. There we go. Six moons. When did I get six? I got three from her and then one. That should have, unless I got another one some other point. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Pop. The Od the Odyssey Odyssey is restored. And yeah, now we're on the big world map. And the world map is the world. We've got enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those uh, those TR Peach too. Why don't you take the helm? Just select Sand Kingdom and press A and we'll be off. I want to go back to Cascade. No, let's go to Sand. Let's go to Sand Kingdom. Prepare for liftoff, Mario. Oh, don't let the debris fall and knock your clock. Like rock your clock. And we're off with the weird, strange, steampunky ge uh, gears on the bottom. Look at that. We just turned those moons into juice. That's powering our airship. Man, Cappy with the one eyebrow, like, eyebrow down like that, it's really like, he's just like, eh. And turn into a cat, like a captain's cap. Mario's not offended by this hat this time. <laughs> At least Mario's having fun. If you're going to adventure save the princess for the billionth time, you got to have fun with it. Sure, the world's in uh, disarray because Bowser's being a dick everywhere, but you have to have fun. If you don't have fun, what's the point? I love this. This transition serves as, a lo as, a, as one of the major parts of the loading screen. It's great. So, how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now he's a ghost. Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey Odyssey. Seeing as we got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Ground Pound. 
to smash blocks or enemies below you or to flatten out bumps in the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Press ZL in midair to a ground pound. Pulverize you with your posterior. Well, there it is. If you need some more to review, you might want to look at the action guide. I do not want to look at the action guide. And I hate that you keep telling me about the stuff in between the like, levels. It's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu with the, pl with the plus button and select action guide. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom, too. As you've no doubt pieced, it to get, pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand. And, as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm. There's some ruins there, an artifact called the Ring Binding Band that links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity to for a sham wedding. Hey, they didn't put Bowser Bowser there. That's really weird. Really inconsistent. And here we are at the Sand Kingdom, Tostarina. This is where the world, the design gets weird. This is a mix of like a mix of Mexico and Egypt for whatever reason. Top the highest tower. Look at that. The sombrero skeletons. Ooh, it's cold. Look at those ice. Huzzah! I dare I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? Top of that tower is shining. But how could that be? Could it be a moon power moon that's green this time? And that's where we're going to call it for now. As I said, we're going uh, kingdom by kingdom. And next time we'll be getting into the thick of it for real. Because this is where the game starts. There's there, there's no real restrictions as soon after that point. Um, the game opens up and you can do things proper. And what I mean by that is by proper is that like... The Cascade, King, the Cascade King was very small, but you couldn't actually use the coins you collected. And you can actually use them here. So next time we'll be getting things proper. And we'll be going off to a rolling start as well, as you can see. And Mario is pretty cold. And you can see the sand actually sticking to him. This game's gorgeous, and it stays gorgeous the entire way through. So, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you later. Yahoo! Let me do that one, one sec. Let me send you off with... Yeah. See you later.